Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. MLR Art and Design. First and foremost, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. It's uh, 2016 and this is the first piece that I am going to be presenting this year. Um, I wish nothing but the best for everybody and I hope first and foremost everybody's healthy, happiness and love for you and your loved ones. All right. Thank you guys for always uh, tuning in and for all your feedback. I really appreciate it. And I've come to uh, make many good friends throughout this little hobby that we have here. So I'm very appreciative of that. All right. That out of the way, let me give you guys a look here at Harley Quinn. This is from the uh, New 52. Uh, Suicide Squad is the outfit that she's wearing. As you can tell, she's smashing the old one out with the old and with the new and this is a fun little piece man this is about a I think it's one six scale and it has a lot of character I really dig this one um, she comes originally from factory with a blue and red uh, color scheme alternating one side to the other and very very bland you know with the skins it's just like white skin, paint basically and um you know once we were able to get a little work done on her she really stands out man and she really uh has a lot of little character going on and it's really a, a fun piece like i said so i'll let you guys know what we did here her hair normally comes one side red one side blue so what we did was we went with the blonde harley with the uh, as you can tell with the pigtails at the tips colored in the red and the black and then we did an alternating black and red um, color scheme which we uh, shot messages back and forth and, and, and the client that I did this for wanted her to have this particular look which is very favorable I think with this particular uh, statue. Um, the black is not just plain black as you can tell. I did some iridescent um, highlights in there and, and different tones so you really see how the black even on the bottom there how the, the light is reflecting up and shining off of the black giving it that little that little shimmer which is you know always cool when you it's not just flat black and you don't see any type of depth or any type of nuances in it it makes it a little little bland a little boring so we were able to do that um a lot of little details and stuff that you didn't have before whereas the guns were black inside of a black holster which just really drowned them out um the shoes, one was red, one was blue. So here we did a little bit. They're black leather boots with uh, gunmetal accents on the tips and on the sides and on the back. So if she were to give you a, a nice roundhouse kick, you, you'll definitely feel it. And then the, the buckles and everything else were, were uh, done in aluminum. The uh, little knives on the side, before they were red and blue. Now I did them in the aluminum and then I did the little accents. On the, on the, re on the red side, they're black. On the black side they're red. Um, the shorts, wanted to keep them one color, um, you know, splitting them in half, one side black, one side red. It's just, it becomes overwhelming. So much back and forth, back and forth. So you lose a lot of the details. It's like your eyes all over the place. So here's a, a more subtle, it does alternate, but at the same time it flows well. Um, what else did we do with her? Oh, we uh, chromed out the knives in the back because she has two knives as well I mean she's just loaded with weapons but she has the two knives in the back which we chromed out and uh, gives it that nice little extra glimmer and then the, the mallet itself did some wood grain detail on the handle and and gave it like um, a metallic you know look to the actual hammer head where before it was just a bland uh, kind of like a dull black kind of silver or whatever the another point of focus is the the base itself before it was a black base with the uniform on top of it so all of the black was definitely drowning out and on the harley on the black of the old outfit as you can see you see a lot of glimmer a lot of sheen because we made that glossy so it's like a latex where you have latex and fabric and then over here on the uh, on the base, you see that simulated there. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to keep the videos a little shorter, so that it is not so overwhelming. And uh, so I'll take you in closer on Harley. We'll see the details, and then we'll wrap her up. 
All right, guys, a little closer on Harley. Uh, don't let the little puppy eyes fool you here. She's dangerous. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, here you can see a little bit better the skin tones, the little detailing on the sides here, like I said, and um, definitely catch a glimpse of, like even the fingernails, how we did one alternating color, etc. Um, the base itself with the uh, shoes like I said how now you can see that it's not just one blue one red and you see some of the wood grain that I uh, did on the actual mallet handle just to give it little things like that give it a little bit more you know personal touch it's not just a brown piece of stick so you know that that ties it all together and the blonde with the um you know the dry brushing lighter over the darker you know give it gives it the depth so it's not so so bland or it's just one painted you know slap one color on it and it's over um here on the face you can tell um what we wanted to do is before it was just the two black she looked like a raccoon over here is more like a powdered kind of look where you see that it's almost as if the makeup application is wearing off towards the bottom there if you could pick it up so it's definitely you know a little bit more more detailed and in, in the actual paint application so yeah I think she came out great um, definitely a nice little piece to uh, add to the collection of your Batman fan you know look her up I don't know if you like the paint up when you see her when she comes originally from factory but if you can do a little something to her, you don't have to go too crazy, but something to spruce her up and she'll be an awesome, awesome little piece to have. All right, guys. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care and uh, on to the next one.